a dumbbell clean, you'll need two dumbbells to start with. And you're going to be in a hinged over not conventional deadlift position when you start. So I would go feet a little bit wider than that though. So slightly wider than conventional deadlift. Toes turned out slightly. You're going to grab hold of your dumbbells. You see I'm squatting my hips down and back. Trying to keep your back as flat as possible. So we're trying to not necessarily round on this exercise. Still want to stay nice and flat. When you hold your dumbbells, you'll tip them up slightly so that the backs of the dumbbells are off of the ground. It just gives you a little bit more space to be able to work with rather than lifting it all the way from, from the ground. Okay, so backs of the dumbbells are up, toes turned out slightly. We've got a slight lift in the chest. When you go to lift, you drive through the knees, through the hips, take the dumbbells up like a normal clean position, but you're gonna land with your hands in a neutral grip position. So they don't need to be palms facing forward like you would normally do if you were cleaning a dumbbell, uh, I'm sorry, a barbell. Instead, hands can be in a neutral position the same way that they're starting. Okay, so back to the dumbbells up, hips down, chest up, driving the hips forward and catching underneath. You're gonna land with the dumbbells, of each head of the dumbbell on top of the shoulders. So again, underneath, and you'll really have to work on decelerating at the top. So get a lot of momentum, try to drive as hard as you can through the hips to increase the speed to start, but you're gonna have to use the shoulders and the upper body to decelerate so that you don't, so that you don't knock the crap out of your shoulders when you land the dumbbells, okay? So all of your reps just like that. Probably not gonna do a ton of repetitions of these because you wanna keep the form nice and clean and make sure you're getting plenty of rest in between sets. 